Hi, Gene here with today's thought, and I have to preface today's thought with a correction, a correction to the video I did last Friday, because, well, if I make a mistake, I try to fess up. If I get a fact wrong, I try to fess up. So in that thought, I had talked about the town hall that Kamala Harris did with CNN being interviewed by Anderson Cooper, and I said, well, there was generally, I made a general statement that Kamala Harris will not simply will not answer a direct question he asks her a yes or no question and or a, a simple question requiring a direct answer and that, that she she will not answer you'll get your uh, word salad and she'll dodge the question well i i was wrong 99 percent of the time i'm right but Anderson Cooper asked her, asked Kamala Harris, do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? And she said, yes, I believe Donald Trump is a fascist. So that was a direct question, and she gave a direct answer. I would only add to that, she gave a direct answer because just virtually every Democrat believes that. So she doesn't have to do this balancing act that she does with the other questions, where if she gives a direct answer, she's going to um, offend one or the other of the uh, of the various factions that she needs to vote, you know, the parts of her base that she needs to vote for her. But I, I guess I'll have to change what I said. And Anderson Cooper asked her a direct question. She gave a direct answer. And when it's an issue, I haven't checked. I, I'm just assuming now, based on that question, um, that she will give a direct answer to any um, question on the answer to which the uh, on the answer to which all Democrats or virtually all Democrats agree or enough Democrats um, the number of those who disagree are so small that she doesn't feel that it threatens her her election chance uh, chances so that's it just want to get that correction out there now to today's thought I'm going to well I'm going to start out with a video you may have already seen it a little video clip but this is Hillary Clinton and you know one other thing that you'll see next week Caitlin is Trump actually uh, reenacting uh, the Madison Square Garden rally in 1939. I write about this in my book. Uh, President Franklin Roosevelt was appalled that neo-Nazis, fascists in America, were lining up to essentially pledge their support for the kind of government that they were seeing in Germany. So I don't think we can ignore it. Now, it may be a leap for some people, and a lot of others may think, I don't want to go there. I don't want to say that. But please, open your eyes to the danger that this man poses to our country. That is what you just saw. That is a really strong, very extreme case of Trump derange, derangement syndrome. Now, I already did that thought, so that's not going to be the thought for today, except that I'll just repeat my, my prediction that if Trump wins, it's going to get a lot worse. I mean, this is, we haven't had the election yet, and you're seeing how they're reacting. But this Trump is Hitler, uh, first of all, every Republican, I think with the exception of Gerald Ford, uh, is uh, going all the way back to Nixon, I think, is compared to Hitler. That's the the go to uh, the go to accusation that that Democrats go to when 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 they they feel that their campaign is in trouble. They well. Kamala Harris, right? The, the, the joy campaign that she was running. Now, you're, you're hearing this again and again. I mean, you go on MSNBC and you would, I've seen clips from uh, uh, Mika Brzezinski, for instance. She's got a real terrible case of um, Trump derangement syndrome. We'll just say TDS and round it off to that. But this accusing Trump of being Hitler, this is their... Um, well, somebody called it. It's what a hail Hitler pass, right? Hail Mary pass. This is a hail Hitler pass that they always throw at the end in the, the hopes that it will change votes at the very last minute, calling the Republican Hitler the same as in every other election in my lifetime, except for uh, Gerald Ford. 
and, and maybe the first Nixon Kennedy, right? Um, I don't recall. Well, I was only 11 years old at the time, 10 years old. But anyways, the um, no, I was eight years old. Anyways, uh, shows you how old I am. The question for today is, how is it working out for you? That's the, they threw the, and they're still throwing the Hail Hitler pass. How's that working out for you, Democrats? Well, let's go. I'm going to show you now a video from Pennsylvania. Nine Pennsylvania voters talking about these accusations of, of Trump being Hitler and their reactions. Now you're going to hear one person speak and then you're going to have a question go around. Well, just watch the video. I, I, I just, I can't, I think part of the reason why I'm being pushed towards Trump so strongly is that I, f I find that the Democrats and the left just keep going straight to Hitler all of the time with everything like it. And if it's, if it's not, if it's not the left pushing Hitler, it's the right pushing Stalin. So it's like, we're fighting world war two every single day for, for every single election. So it's just, it's so, it's so exhausting. I think it just detracts from, it pushes me away from their position and it, you know, it's so hyperbolic that it makes it impossible to have good discussions. And I think it, it ruins the discourse. Does anybody it, think it's, it's valuable or, 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 Something you want to hear from the vice president? Anybody? Raise your hand if you think this is a something that's important for her to be talking about. Anybody? I'll just repeat the question after you saw that video. Uh, if you watch this, uh, my Democrat uh, friends out there, my friends on the left. And, and by the way, that's not just uh, you know an idle statement. I haven't met too many. Well, I don't think I've met any since I've been in Tennessee, but I lived in. Uh, New York for 40 years. If I didn't have liberal friends, I wouldn't have had any friends. I mean, everybody's a liberal there, just about. But anyways, uh, I, I'm going to end with the question that I asked before, after you saw that video. How is this uh, the, the Hell Hitler pass working out for you? How is calling Trump Hitler working out for you? Just, uh, well, you just saw how it's working out, at least with nine Pennsylvania voters. And that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Comments always welcome in the comment section below the video. Uh, if you could subscribe, that would really be great. By the way, I got like a handful of subscribers the last few days. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Could always use more, though. And um, thanks for stopping by. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.